guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So you guys, today we are doing a video that I haven't filmed in a few months now. So I have posted five parts to the Fixing Elmer's Goo Extreme Slime Makeover videos. And you guys, I was like, you know what I'm gonna do again? I think it's time for a part six. If you guys are new here, subscribe down below for more videos like this one. And you guys, I will link a full playlist of all of my Fixing Elmer's Goo part one through five and now part six down below for you guys to go and check out. And you guys, I want you guys to know that I'm going to be giving away, actually, I'll be giving away these right here. If you want to enter to win these little Elmer's Goo slimes, the only rule is subscribe to this channel, Nicole Jacqueline, and like this video. Comment down below why you want to win these Elmer's Goo. One more fast thing I want you guys to know that my slime shop is linked down below. It is restocked. Definitely use this code to save 20% off your entire order. Give this video to 10,000 thumbs up in the first three days of posting, okay? If you do that, I will do a part seven, okay? If that happens, if we can do 10,000 thumbs up in the first three days of posting, I will do a part seven. I think it's time we roll the video. Let's hop into it. This first Fixing Elmer's Goo makeover is going to be based on the clear glue, clear goo slime. Now, this is such a nice slime. I will say it forever and I cannot stop saying it, you guys. You can just tell this is such a beautiful slime. It's so thick, it's so clear. And I don't know, I've never played with such an amazing clear slime before from a store. So I was definitely saying a lot because I've tried a lot of slimes in my day, as you guys are well, well aware of that. And this truly is so incredible. It's legit like glass. It's so, so pretty, so beautiful, and I love it. So with that being said, as you guys love when I do this, you guys love when I do little pigment combinations. So this one, I decided to separate this into three sections. So we have purple, blue, and eventually yellow. I'm taking some of this purple pigment and, you know, dividing it into this little slime. This looks just looks so pretty. It's a very gorgeous purple color, actually. And I'm going to be lining the base of my container with these little sprinkles from Kawaii Slime Company. I have a link down below to buy these exact sprinkles. They're linked down below and I'm just basing the bottom with those sprinkles and then putting purple slime on the first layer and then next I'm taking some of this blue pigment powder and I'm putting it into the other section of the slime getting it all blended together and it looks so stunning this color is gorgeous and then taking one more layer of the confetti sprinkles and putting that in the top of the purple one you see what I'm doing you know a little decorative slime situation and then I'm taking some of this yellow Daiso clay, just a little bit of it, and I want it to have like a fluffier top. Um, please comment down below some names for all these slimes you'll hit in the video today. And I want to pin the best comment for the names of the slimes. Let me know down below what you would name this slime. And I'm topping it off with a bunch of these really cool like rainbow gems and some clear slime as well. I believe this is one of my favorite slimes ever. I think it's so pretty and just so intricate and gorgeous and I just love this. And it's probably the most extreme transformation. It's really easy to transform a clear slime because you're starting off with like kind of from scratch in a way. So it is kind of easier to go up creative, but I am very proud of this. Kind of gives me kind of like under the sea, oasis, cake, birthday vibes. I don't know, I think it's so, so adorable. Next up, we have the blue raspberry little cloud slimes. And if you guys are new here, this is my part six of these, but the scent of this is my favorite thing forever and ever. And honestly, I didn't really know how to fix this one because it's so beautiful already. I didn't really know how to, you know, make it better because the scent of it is already so nice. I love the texture. I honestly really do too. So I love them. And I decided to kind of 
do a little weird twist on this. So I found some of this like hot pink, like moon sand, what do you call this? Like just sand in general. And I decided to kind of combine it into the slime to kind of see what we could do with this texture because it has a really cool cloud jelly-like cloud cream texture. And I have this gorgeous hot pink color to kind of just, I don't know, bring it all together here. Now, part of me, which is I kind of just stacked this in the jar, but my goal was to make these extreme makeovers and not just like stacking colors in a jar. So I decided to put that thought aside and just mix the hot pink sand with the blue raspberry cloud slime. Now this texture truly was so, so nice and I couldn't get over how great this was. It truly went from this cloud creamy, delicious cloud slime into this super airy, fluffy cloud, which I loved. However, obviously I'm adding in sand, so it did leave a lot of residue. So I was like, okay, how can we fix this? So I actually took some of my own personal clay. I have this exact, I had this exact same clay in my slime shop, slimebyjacqueline.com. It's linked down below. We have it in hot pink, or we also have it in white, and they are super inflating, super airy, and super nice clays. Um, but yes, I'm adding this into it. I know I've changed the entire complexion of this, but this way you have a snow butter kind of dense, thick slime. And then I was like, okay, the slime is just pink. What can we do now? So now we have a Binksu snow butter cloud slime. Actually gorgeous, major cotton candy vibes. And you have that, do not forget, you have that amazing blue raspberry scent to go in it. And it is everything, let me tell you, it really does smell so good. The texture was on point, and I definitely wanna sell a slime with this in my slime shop, where I just have like a super decked out cloud butter, bingsu, all of that into one slime. So I decided to, why not add some little rainbows on top to kind of just finish it off, little charms to go on top of here. And I think it's a super cute little slime. Please comment down below a fun name for this slime. It really could be taken in a lot of directions. I also added some little unicorn charms on top as well. So you have unicorn, rainbow, fluffy cotton candy. I don't know you guys. I do want to pin the best comment down below and remember to like this video for a part seven. If we get to 10,000 thumbs up in the first three days of posting, I'll post a part seven. I can just say, I'm just saying. This last slime is the Elmer's Metallic Goo Slimes. Now, I love these because they are just so stunning and the color is so gorgeous. And honestly, you guys, I did not want to, you know, really mess with the beautiful colors right away. I always am stuck because the clear slimes, you can go whatever direction you want. You can go pigment, clear, snow, whatever. But this one, it's already gorgeous. I don't really want to ruin it yet. So I'm taking some of these little gold sheets and I'm putting them on top of the slimes. Now, this is just, this is, <laughs> this is the prettiest thing ever. I think it's so gorgeous. And FYI, I'll put a little ASMR clip on my slime Instagram because the poking of the little gold sheets into the slime. It's such a great sound. It's very, very good high quality ASMR. I love it. But yes, I wanted to kind of keep the illusion, you know, keep the gorgeousness of this slime. And these gold sheets just really step it up a notch and bring it out. And I think it looks so, so gorgeous. It kind of gives me like a buried treasure kind of look. A little like under the sea, buried treasure. I don't know, I think it's like a gorgeous, gorgeous combination here. So yes, once I have done that, I decided to put it back into the jar and I'm taking some of my own clay. This is my lime green air dry clay. It is also linked down below for you guys, but I also have this in white as well. Very soft, very inflating, and just very stretchy and nice in general. 
So I'm twisting some of the top of the metallic slime into the green slime. And then I decided to put some more of these gorgeous, gorgeous gold sheets on top of the slime because why not? Honestly, they're so pretty. I could add, I could honestly add like a whole pack of these and still want to put more because they're just that gorgeous. Okay, you guys. So yes, this is the final product. I think it's so pretty. I would love to know what you guys would, you know, name this slime. It kind of gives kind of like treasure vibes. I don't know. Some kind of like lost at sea hidden away. I don't know you guys what are your thoughts please comment down below and if you are watching still the video um please like it it helps the video a lot and if we get the 10,000 thumbs up you guys I will do a part seven fixing Elmer's goo extreme slime makeover coming very soon and turn that bell on subscribe down below if you like these videos because I love to make them and I'm thinking next time I want to do an all clear slime one like only doing clear because clear slime you can kind of go crazy with it so I love that and the final color of this is it's kind of pretty in my opinion I think it's a pretty green I know it's a little like questionable colored but I think it's kind of gorgeous in my opinion and the texture was super nice you have that tough metallic -y base with that clay which is so nice I added on some little under the sea dolphins and fish charms to go on top of my slime because once it was green, it just gave me very much so like sea vibes. It kind of has like a transformation. You could even name this slime like before mix a certain thing and then once it's mixed another name because it really does transform. So we love that. If you guys enjoyed that video, let me know down below what your thoughts were. Which was your favorite one? Comment down below which slime was your favorite. I would love to know. And if I should do a part seven, 10,000 thumbs up in the first three days of posting. And if that happens, I will do a part seven, which will be crazy, but really cool. <laughs> I will also link my slime shop down below for you guys. Definitely go check it out. And definitely go enter the giveaway where the only rule is subscribe down below to this channel, like the video, Video, turn the bell on and comment down below why you want to win these two slimes and leave a way to contact you as well. I will also link the full Elmer's Goo collection that you can buy on Amazon. It's all linked down below. You guys, I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye!